Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. It's a beautiful day in the Pennsylvania forest. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you may have seen a photo be, uh, that was posted on there recently of a half-assed tent set up by yours truly. But today's video, I kind of want to go through uh, what happened that camping trip and the thought process Stoney and I went through to make the best out of a uh, bad situation. It was probably a few weeks ago to a month at this point. We were on a camping trip, actually attending the Primitive to Prepper Festival at the North American Bushcraft School in West Virginia, which was a really fun time. For that trip, I decided to take my tent and I sort of packed last minute, realizing something may be forgotten, but I was prepared to uh, deal with that. <laughs> my tent poles was what I forgot. So I want to get the tent set up how I had on the ground and I will talk a little bit more about how things came to be. Continuing the backstory, upon realizing that I had left my tent poles at home, I decided I was just going to sleep out under the stars. I knew there was some rain coming, but I was just prepared to say, <laughs> F it, right? Um, but I got the tent down and staked down because it was windy and I had my backpacking gear, meaning my inflatable sleeping pad. And I didn't want to put that right on the ground, so my tent was just going to act as a little barrier from the ground. So at this point, darkness had already um, fallen upon Stoney and I, and we were just sitting, or yeah, we were just sitting around camp. It was still really windy. We knew there was probably going to be a chance of rain, so in the dark, we were just kind of brainstorming what's the best option we have for giving me some cover because Stoney had his tent. He remembered everything, but I didn't really want to sleep in there with him because it's really cramped in a two-person backpacking tent. So what we came up with was. Let's try to put a ridge line and pull this tent off the ground to still give me some protection. Now I tried to set up the tent sort of how it worked out in the night in question, which was sort of diagonal to the trees that just sort of worked out with the length of cordage I had. And this will make more sense as I set it up. But so I want to get the ridge line up right now. And I have it tied to this tree right now, just sort of a slippery half hitch. And Stoney and I did put this up in the moment, uh, so it might take a little bit longer. I'm doing it myself to get it right, but I want to take this ridge line now. It's going to cross over the tent and tie it off to tree over this way. You can't really see the ridge line right now how it's relation to the tent, but basically it's running from corner to a diagonal to the other corner of the tent. Worked out really well. Putting this ridge line, pulled the tent up, Gave it a pretty decent, uh, I guess, tautness. And it's really simple principle. I don't know why it didn't occur to us early to try this in that uh, the night, but uh, there's one more thing we did to just make it a little bit more comfortable inside the tent for me. So this really gave it a nice pitch just on its own, the ridge line. But if the poles were on here, the tent would be pulled up even more so like this, just to give the occupants just a little bit more comfort inside the tent and take it back down it sort of you know loses some of that so what we did is basically just tied off one of these hooks to give my head a little bit more room just use a piece of paracord for that really simple
I'm not even sure what I want to call this right now. It's sort of in between a taut line and whatever, some hitches on the line. But the point is it's giving friction that when I slide this down, it takes tension off the tent. And then with friction being applied on the ridge line, it keeps this tent pulled away from my head. Just give me a little bit more space in there. So this is pretty much where we left it. And I think it was, uh, we did a really good job. Now there's one more piece of the story I want to talk to you about. So as you can imagine, old Crick's in there enjoying the slumber. No rain had really come to, I don't even think it was dawn yet, but I just, something inside of me was like, I think it's gonna rain soon. What should I do? Didn't spend any time putting the fly up. Could have put a tarp on the ridge line. Could have done a lot of things. But like I said, it was late at night. We even got this far. So what I ended up doing was, while still inside the tent, I did not get out. That's basically it. Took out the rain fly, half asleep, threw it over there, hoping no wind would pull it off because it wasn't staked down or tied down at all. And it was enough to stop the drizzle coming inside the tent because these tent walls aren't really mesh, which is kind of nice in this particular instance. Sometimes you just gotta laugh at yourself. <laughs> A lot of ideas sort of spawned from if you don't have your tent poles, you still have a tent, what can you do? Well, I think this ridge line, obviously to pull it up off the ground was a really great, uh, great idea from our part to get at, uh, at least half manageable shelter for me to sleep in to protect myself from the rain. And I think there's a lot of ideas you could sort of build off this with not bringing your tent poles with your tent if you want to set up for the night. Have you ever been in a situation like this or have you ever played around with the idea of pitching really simple shelters, uh, sort of minimalist, if you will, ultra light in that sort of vein? Because you can buy, you know, just bug nets that you can drop from the line, put a tarp, and that's an ultra light sort of backpacking shelter. But I don't have one of those. I do have a tent I could play around with. So what's the point of buying something if I can at least experiment with something I have? So I just want you uh, sort of leave a comment, let me know. Did you at least find this funny? Did you see that picture on Facebook or Instagram? I'm pretty sure our recreation's pretty accurate. So let me know, leave some ideas for me because like I said, I really want to play around with this idea a little bit more of erecting a tent without the poles. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you laughed at all, give us a thumbs up and uh, let us know what else you'd like to see from us. This is Crick with Black Owl. Later, turtles.